I'm Pickle Rick! What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing Avis and Super Hot, and welcome to the Modern Ninja. This is the next episode of our bladed nunchuck tutorial series, or it's a mini series and a bigger series. The way this works is I break down a bunch of Dave. So the way this works, if you don't know, is I take cool combinations like that one right there and break them down into our digestible chunks and then teach them to you one at a time throughout the month so that at the end of the month you can do an amazing combination just like the one at the beginning of this video. And as always, if you want a pair of bladed nunchucks or uh, just regular nunchucks for all you people that aren't crazy, then definitely check out the links down below and of course make sure you check out the merch down below the store and merch were all made by my wife so absolutely give it a check out look at it see if you like it if you don't that's fine but if you do you know support the channel it it does it does kind of help uh, me become a a full-time content creator which is kind of the goal so yeah that'd be nice but let's get part two rolling so this is gonna be our first trick of the combination now last episode I told you guys to hold it closer to where the metal is on your chain that connects the chain to the nunchuck just like so and this is the main reason the reason is because you're gonna have to learn a hand roll except a little bit trickier than just a plain hand roll so let's first teach you the regular hand roll so taking it into steps you're gonna first hold your nunchucks out just like me you're going to roll the nunchuck over the back of your hand you're going to let go grab the other side and finish the roll. But this is nunchucks and nunchucks are never just that easy. In order to truly do this trick, you have to add momentum. Momentum is the thing that will carry you through to the end. Um, so going slowly is an option, but not step by step slowly. Once you understand the steps, you're gonna have to slowly put some momentum into it that'll help you carry the nunchucks over just like so. Now you may have seen me do it already, but doing a reverse roll hand roll is also going to be necessary. But we've been doing on our hand rolls vertically where the, the this is the access here. You're gonna have to have a horizontal axis in the combination. So what I mean by that is instead of doing a normal hand roll, you're going to start from your hip and go across. And that's how you add in the combination because we ended here. You just come to your hip, hand roll, just like so. Now there is a second hand roll that is a reverse. So it's not just coming back and forth. It actually goes up into the air. So in order to do that, you're going to do your hand roll and then you're going to keep the momentum. That's important. Keep the momentum and do a reverse hand roll above your head just like that. Let me back up a little bit. Now, let me be honest with you, this will take some time to get. There's no easy, you know, cheap code way to get past it and just understand it off the bat. So take your time to understand this setup. But once you get done with your hand roll, all it is is wrapping around the back and up, just like you're finishing a, a triangle, you're just, finishing it up here. One more time, this segment of the combination will go down, hand roll one, hand roll two, and up. All together to look like this. Woo, just like that. And as you can see, I automatically wanna add some momentum to the next step. So that's how you blend these together. But we'll get into that a little bit later. I don't wanna overload y'all because I know this trick is kind of challenging, especially if you don't have a ton of experience as far as nunchucks go. So I'm just gonna give you that and we'll go with next week for the next segment of the trick, which is another relatively challenging and kind of scary trick. So. Uh, Stay tuned for that one. Stay tuned as in like and subscribe. Maybe even hit the bell, I don't know. You can, you can make the decision for yourself. But with that said, my name's DJ Moore, this is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out. Ah! I'm pretty sure my hand's broken and this 
It does not feel good. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I'm, I've been doing this whole series uh, with my hand broken, so um, at least I'm, it's fractured slightly maybe. I don't know how broken it is, but it definitely, definitely does feel good.